everyone, it's Jacqueline. Welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, subscribe because I post a new video every single week. So I am very excited for this week's video because I'm going to be having a glow up. And I don't want to just do my makeup and then that's it because my makeup is very minimal. So I also wanted to do my hair, pick a whole new outfit. I even have some press on nails that I wanted to put on. I always use these. They're called impress nails and you don't need any glue. You just press them on. These are so strong. They last about two weeks. And that's only because I get tired of them, but I feel like they could last longer. So yeah, if you want some good press on nails, you should get Impress. I'm also going to be putting on some earrings and then maybe at the end we'll have an Instagram photo shoot. I just woke up today and I was like, you know what? I want to be pretty. I'm going to give myself a whole makeover. So yeah, let's get right into the video and let's start with makeup. So here is all of the makeup that I have. Obviously, I do have more makeup, but this is pretty much my everyday makeup. This is all I have. Okay, so we're gonna start with our hair out of the way. We're gonna pull some hairs because I don't wanna look bald. All right, there you go. So as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see this, but I do have a little bit of mascara from yesterday. So I just feel like makeup wipes don't really get all of my makeup off. So I like to use some Q-tips to go under my eyes to get all of the mascara that I had from the night before. The moisturizer I use is the Neutrogena water gel. And I've been using this moisturizer for like five years. Every single day I put this on and my skin always feels very hydrated and it's ready for my makeup to be set over. At the beginning of the video, it probably didn't look like I had a lot of makeup under my eyes. My eyes didn't pop out as much, so I don't know if you guys can tell, but my eyes look way better right now. Here is what the Q-tip looks like. I'm gonna try my best to show you guys, but look at all that mascara. That was all under my eyes. Now we're just gonna put moisturizer all over our face. Good, hydrating feeling, feels very light on me. Okay, now that my face is all clean, we're gonna put on some foundation. This is also Neutrogena. I have said this before and I feel like I will always say this. Neutrogena is my favorite. That's pretty much where all my products are from. So what I do is I do three little lines, two little lines, one line down here. So kind of like a little pyramid. And then I do a little bit of dots right here three lines right here. I don't put too much on my nose either because I like to blend out everything into my nose. And I'm gonna get this brush. It's from Sephora. And this is what I use to just blend out my foundation. I try to tap it rather than just like pull it down. Sometimes I get really impatient and it's tempting to just do this, but we're gonna try. Wow, look at that. My face is super even. Okay, so now we're going to get, again, my Neutrogena powder. This is, um, foundation powder so it's a lot heavier than just like a regular powder this is so my face can look a little more matte and take away any of the shininess that's going on i'm not really a fan of my face looking shiny which is why i don't really do highlighter or anything i don't know i like my face to look one color but let me know if you guys want me to try any like baking or like contouring because i don't do any of that but i feel like it'd be fun to try just to see what my face would look like you know maybe i'll like it so neutrogena this is the Natural Radiance Bronzer. So I just put this all over my face to give me a little bit of a tan look. But I try not to use too much because I'm already kind of tan and I don't want to look too dark, especially since it's the winter. So I just kind of lightly brush over, do it a little bit on my nose. Okay, we're finally done with the face. I'm just going to brush out my brows. I don't usually do anything to my brows because one, I feel like they look good as they are. But two, I don't know how to do brows. Every time I do it, my eyebrows look so dark and boxy and fake. So yeah, we're just gonna leave them and then now we're going to curl our eyelashes. My eyelashes are pretty long, but it's hard to see them because they're so straight and it takes me forever to curl them. But yeah, there they are. This is the Maybelline Falsies Volume Express. Um, this is actually not the mascara that I usually use. I've been trying out new mascaras and this one is pretty good. I mean, I don't know. I feel like it's the same as the other one I used. The other one I used was Scandal Eyes. I'll put a picture right here, but it's the orange one. And I was using that for years and I didn't want to try another mascara, but I just thought maybe I'd switch it up because what if there is one out there that works better for me? All right, here we go. 
I like to lightly brush over them because I don't want it to look too crazy. And where my eyelashes start are usually pretty dark. So I like to focus on the tip of my eyelashes. That way they blend in with the bottom. And there you go. Those are my lashes. We're just gonna get this little shimmer thing. Get it with just our finger so it's a little easier to apply. And then just a little dot on the corner gets a little shimmer. Another one. Dot. I feel like it kind of brings out the eyes a little more and then just for funsies we'll put it under our brow okay so that is pretty much my entire makeup look it's very simple this is what I do every single day okay so now I'm going to put on my earrings I know that this should probably be the last step putting on my jewelry but I'm too excited I just want to put them on right now also I feel like when I have my nails on it'll be harder so that's why we're gonna do it now cute i like that it has the little hoops and then it has a little dangling thing right here okay so now we're gonna take out our hair and then i'm not sure what i want to do yet with my hair it looks really pretty today this is my natural hair it's like sometimes it waves sometimes it doesn't and i think it looks really good but i'm thinking about straightening it okay you know what we're gonna do my nails first and then we'll see how i feel about my hair after Okay, so here are the nails that I'm going to be wearing. It's kind of like a French tip, and it comes with these glitter ones, but I'm not going to use those. I'm just going to use these. And yeah, I'll show you guys how I apply them, so let's get to it. I'm just dumping out all the nails. These are all labeled with numbers based on the sizes of your nails, so I'm just going to figure that all out, and then we're going to apply them all. Okay, so here are all of my nails. Now I'm just going to put them on, but first we have to clean all of the dirt that is on our nail. Now that we are done with my nails, let's get on to my hair. Okay, so I decided that I am gonna do my hair because this is a YouTube video and I wanna go all out, so it'll still be nice to kind of, you know, get everything to an even point. So yeah, I'm just gonna brush my hair. I don't know why, but I like to straighten the top pieces first. I think it's because my hair is already straight, so I like to focus on where you can actually see the hair, and then I just touch it up later. See, like these bottom pieces are already straight, so I don't even really need to straighten them. Okay, so here is what my hair looks like. Definitely looks a lot shinier and more ready, so I'm glad that I straightened it. I think that I'm just going to leave my hair down because it looks pretty good, so yeah. We're done with the hair, and now let's get on to the outfit. Okay, so for the outfit, I chose this green bodysuit, and then these mom jeans, I guess, or boyfriend jeans, not really sure which one it is, but these are easily the most comfy jeans I've ever owned. And let me tell you where I got them from. So if you want to know the brand, it says RSQ jeans. And I'm a size 24 and this is wide leg crop. But these, I got these at Goodwill. And these were only $1 because it was on sale. It was like the color tag thing. So yeah, for this glow up, I'm going to be wearing my $1 jeans. And then it is cold outside, so I have to wear a jacket. And I'm thinking I should probably wear something white. Since my jeans are light, that way they can complement each other. So I'm going to look at my closet. Here we go. All right, so I'm just going to wear my white denim jacket. And I think I also got this at Goodwill. So yeah, let's put this on. Okay, now I'm feeling myself. I really love this outfit. It's so cute. You can't really see the shirt. So I might like pull down my jacket a little just so you can like see everything. And then you can't really see my jeans. But here they are. Super comfortable. They fit perfectly. And they're very strong stretchy and they're capri very comfortable anyway this is my final transformation we have the makeup the hair the nails we have the outfit 
And now we're gonna go take some Instagram pictures, which I think is the most fun part about this. It's probably still gonna be a little bit cold, but we're gonna do it and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. So let's go, let's get on with the pictures. So here are all my dogs. They're so cute. This one's Milo. This one is Ollie. And then we have Molly right here. Hi, Molly. So here's my little setup. I'm just gonna be standing right there. I'm gonna set up my phone just like this. And then this little clicker is to take the picture so I don't have to keep going like back and forth. And then right here is where I'm going to set up my camera so you guys can see. Okay, so we are done with the photos. Now I'm gonna show you guys the results and what I'm gonna be posting on Instagram. All right guys, that is it. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did because this video was definitely a lot of fun. And right here I have my dog. And I'm really surprised because she never goes in my room. Yeah, this is my dog. Go ahead and like this video if you enjoyed it because that lets me know that you guys like these kind of videos and I can make more of them. Also, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.